Hi folks, Michael Robinson here with MichaelRobinsonArt.com. The piece I'm holding in my hands right now is part of a series called the Circular Logic series. And so I wanted to do another story behind the painting. And I just thought I would really choose this one. Lately I've been doing bigger pieces. This one here, as I said, is the Circular Logic series. Now, this is called Gravity Smile. And it's part of a, a, as I said, part of a poetic sense of it. Let me tell you the derivation of all this. Back in the day when I was a singer, songwriter, a rock and roll guitar guy, I wrote a song called Gravity's Smile. And the reason I did that, it was a reaction to a, 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 a group of lyrics in a song called Wicked Gravity by Jim Carroll, the late Jim Carroll. He was quite a poet and punk rocker. I always loved that song, Wicked Gravity. But my response was to say, I have this sense of freedom uh, in the universe. I'll get into the specifics of that, but for many years now, poets have talked about gravity as a life force that can pull us back, pull us down, whether in Jim Carroll's case, he was a heroin addict, and so that gravity kept pulling him back. What I was trying to get in that song, and then now this painting, is the sense of freedom, a sense of liberation. And in the series of paintings, you'll see that there's a lot of space. I call this spatial surrealism, others might call it neo-surrealism, but it's definitely also in a school called geometric, geometric abstractions. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer and show you some of the characters here. This is the planet. It embodies also a sense of a solar system. We have moons surrounding it. This is something right here. This character, to me, represents some sort of a, uh, a, a telegraphic sense to the universe. It's sending and receiving messages from the universe. It's also been released from the pull, the gravitational pull of this thing. This character here, to me, is really sense of happiness of being released out into the universe, of getting away from the gravitational pull of this planet slash solar system. Over here, I actually find this character up in here to be a little on the funny side. Uh, I like the way that those are like possibly eyes there and then possibly a nose and a mouth and a smile. And then this object here is just part of this old, old thing of, you can see there's a line here. Again, these guys are communicating out into the universe and there's this sense of being released. This is important work for me as an artist too because you can see this background here. I love the simplicity of it. Underneath it, I'll try to put it a little closer, I've scraped through some very deep blue to signify some other presence out there in the universe. But this color here is sort of my trademark teal. I use it in a lot of paintings and I had to get the teal just right for this painting because there's so much of it. So I couldn't even be waffling or ambivalent slightly. I had to paint it with complete and total confidence, which I think I pulled off. In person, you can see the uh, underlying uh, color of the deep blue. I accentuated that by taking the sides and painting them this deep. Let me get a little closer. I put a little light underneath this and then put the dark on top. And it's the same thing on the top. So this thing has been painted on all four sides to give it a real sense of, when you see it hanging on the wall, it, it gives you a sense of real depth when you walk in, but I think it also helps tell the story. Now, the Circular Logic series, I will be telling you more about each one, how they began. At this point, I can't remember if it's six or seven pieces, but it culminates in a couple of very large ones. Uh, there's one that's called And the Gods Made Love, and it depicts a, a, big, a big battle, as it were. So anyway, these are mostly, this is the 12 by 24, very unusual style. And the whole point of the, all of this was to give everybody a sense of relaxation, mid-century space, mid-century sort of contemporary slash modernism. You know how art guys love all these different titles, these art critics in New York and so forth, but I wanted people, it's called Gravity Smile, but I wanted the space to shine through and give people that, that mid-century sense, but also the ability to, at least while we are looking at this painting, to escape from the gravitational pull of daily life. So, I do hope you enjoy this painting, right? Uh, I also hope that you enjoy the story behind Gravity Smiles. I'm Michael Robinson from MichaelRobinsonArt.com. Thank you once again for joining me. And of course, as every week when I do this, it's not the most graceful exit because I can't use my, uh, my remote control. So pardon me when I lean forward here to uh, disconnect. Once again, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.